Today I will teach you what you need to know to play Renekton, one of the most popular pro player champions right now. Alright, let's start out by talking about his abilities. Let's start with the passive, Reign of Anger. Renekton generates 5 fury per auto attack, which is increased by 50% if he's half health or less. Abilities will also generate fury, but we'll get into that when we're talking about each individual ability because they're slightly different. Now if Renekton hasn't been fighting for a while and he's out of combat for 12 seconds, then he loses 4 fury per second, which means you kinda have to stay in combat, it's extremely important that you don't lose your fury, because your abilities are a lot stronger if you have 50 fury. And next up we have Kul Namik. Renekton deals physical damage in a circle around him and heals for each enemy hit. Now the healing aspect is extremely important and that healing aspect is increased by 300% when you're hitting champions instead of minions. Now then you use Kul Namik without 50 rage, you generate 2.5 fury for each non-champion hit, so minions and monsters, and 10 fury for each champion hit. Now sadly this ability have a cap and you can only get 30 fury per cast. Now if you have 50 fury which makes your ability stronger, Kulamik deals additional damage, it also increases your healing by 200% and the healing cap gets increased up to 300% now, which means you can heal a lot more and this is generally what you want to use the Q for. Your Q is mainly a healing ability that does a decent amount of damage as well. Ruthless Predator. Renekton becomes empowered for 7 seconds which makes his next basic attack gain 50 range and strike the opponent twice. It deals a bunch of physical damage and stuns the opponent for 7.25 seconds. Each slash also applies on hit effects and it grants fury. Now if you have 50 fury before using Ruthless Predator, Renekton also destroys shields before hitting 3 times instead of 2 now. He deals 50% bonus damage and increases the stun duration to 1.5 seconds instead of 0.75 so it's double the time now. Now the coolest aspect about Ruthless Predator is that it's an auto attack reset so often you can auto attack the opponent and then use it immediately afterwards to instantly hit them again. Also it's almost impossible to dodge because it does have that 50 more range. Slice and Dice. Renekton dashes through enemies dealing physical damage. The ability can be reactivated if Renekton hits an opponent and you can cast it again. Now Slice and Dice also generates fury which means you get 2 fury for each non-champion hit and 10 fury for each champion hit with a similar cap like Cool to Meek at 30 pad dash. Now here comes the coolest part, if you have 50 fury before using Dice, the second part of this ability, then you gain additional damage and you use the opponent's armor for 4 seconds. And the armor reduction is 25 to 35 percent, so it's absolutely massive. And this is one of the bread and butters that should be used in teamfights that is often overlooked and unused. Alright, time to talk about his ultimate dominance. Rennington gets empowered for 15 seconds. He gains health, 20 percent size, 25 bonus range, which can also be comboed with AW to get 75 bonus range, and he gets 20 fury. Rennington also deals magic damage every 0.5 seconds around him. And he generates 5 fury per second, which is extremely important because you want as much fury as possible to empower your abilities. Now let's get into something extremely important to know, Renekton's skill order. So the first thing you want to think about is the standard way to do it is Q level 1, E level 2, W level 3. After that you max Q into E into W. Obviously you max ultimate whenever you can. Now that is the standard thing, but you can also go outside of standard. For example if you're facing a Riven and you want to be aggressive or other champs where you want to be extremely aggressive. In this case, you can actually go W level 1, Q level 2, and then E level 3. Now, you only want to do this if two conditions are met. You're strong in the opponent and you can abuse him. As I mentioned earlier, a ribbon would be perfect for this. And the enemy jungler starts topside, which means he's most likely not going to gank you early. Question of the day for you lovely people out there. What champion should I be making a guide on next? Leave a comment below and we'll get to it. Alright, time to talk about Renekton's runes. So there's two runes of choice you can go for. The most common rune page and the one I would recommend to you to use if you don't know Renekton extremely well is to go Conqueror. Then you go Triumph. After that you go either Legend Alacrity or Tenacity. Both of them are extremely good. Tenacity is against CC champions and Alacrity if you don't need anti-CC. In the last one, you will always go for Last Stand because it's simply just the best one. In the second tree, you go for Resolve, and there you go either Bone Plating or Stick and Win. And then after getting one of those two, you have a lot of options. You have Demolish if you have an easy lane that you're going to dominate and you want to press your towers. Then you have Overgrowth if you're thinking you want to scale and be more of a tanky guy that can tank for a longer time. Then you have Revitalize if you want to be healing a lot more, which is good for the skirmishes and the laning phase. And last but not least, you have Unflinching, which is really good for the tenacity and slow resistance. Generally, I would actually go for Unflinching, as I think that's probably the best one right now. But I also think all the other ones are completely viable, and you can definitely take all of them for different situations. Now, the other rune page that you can do is 
exactly the same everywhere, but you take press the attack instead of conqueror. Now this rune page is something you want to use if you're against squishies that are ranged generally. And you don't really feel like you can benefit from a long fight and it's more click 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 get out. Click 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 get out. For example against a Quinn or something along those lines. For the small runes you want to run offense the first. The second one you want to have offense as well. And the last one armor matrixes depending on what you're against. Now the reason you don't run attack speed on Renekton is because you're an ability space champion with an auto attack reset and you W. You don't really need the attack speed. You hit somebody with the auto attack and then you W which kind of cancels out the auto attack anyways. All right, it's time to get into the item build. So for the first item, I recommend that you simply go Gordringer. Gordringer is bread and butter on Renekton right now. It's super strong. Now, some people will argue for Blade of the Rune King first, and that is okay if you really want to snowball, but generally that's not what you want to go. Next up, you want to get your boots because Renekton is an immobile champion somewhat. He does have dashes, but he still needs to be running a lot and need that movement speed. So boots are going to be perfect for him. The boots of choice will be plated steel caps or mercury threads. Now at this point you should have Gordring and boots and then next you will go for either cleaver or sterix gaze. So cleaver is against mega tanks and sterix is against everything else. Once you have chosen which item you go for you have a multiple option. If you went for sterix you mostly want to go for a uh, death stance next. If you did go for a cleaver then you still kind of need the sterix gates and you'll buy that one next instead. And then for the fifth item, what you generally want to go is a GA. If you did go for a cleaver route, you can also go for death dance, but I wouldn't recommend it as often. I think it's much better to get a GA in most cases because it's just going to give you that extra life. And it allows you to go in very early and tank all the damage, especially burst for example against Sundra. Now to finish up your build, you kind of have to figure out what you need. So GA is obviously good if you haven't bought already. Death dance can also be good if you don't have it already. Then you have Randons, which is good against 80 teams, which have a lot of crit damage dealers. You have Spirit Resets, which is pretty good if you need more healing and you need the tank. And you're dealing against a lot of magic damage dealers. So you kind of have to figure out what you need and build adaptively. I cannot give you a blueprint for the last item. Who's next on the chopping block?